Well, the occupation began in Little Rock nearly a month ago to the day, and protesters say it's just the beginning. Occupy Little Rock protesters say they are committed to nonviolence, while other cities nationwide are cracking down on the Occupy movement. Channel 7's Matt Johnson goes inside Occupy Little Rock to find out who they are and when, if ever, they plan on going away. Before Paul Spencer comes here to protest, he teaches history here at Catholic High School. Uh, my students know that I'm involved in it. I don't encourage them to become involved in it because it's not my place to do so. He says he took a risk to join Occupy Little Rock over a month ago. When I first heard about this in New York, I thought, well, that's novel. It's just going to implode upon itself. But, you know, I've been pleasantly surprised. It's become the local offshoot of Occupy Wall Street and has spread to nearly 2,400 cities around the world. We do support capitalism. I'm a small business owner myself. I'm a recording engineer. I Lenksky is also a substitute teacher with the Little Rock School District, moonlighting as an occupier. But they're not the ones that withstand the force of nature every night. Here it's midnight in the kitchen where a few of them are serving up hot cocoa and plenty of conversation. We haven't really committed to buying locally or at least buying American. Like any of the, anything we really do. Yeah, that's true. Jokes and some smokes help them stay awake sometimes all night. Uh, it's just tobacco. It's, it's just, just tobacco. generic mystery tobacco. Then there's people like Luke Flowers. What kind of sacrifices have you made personally to be a part of the movement? Um, my home. Um, I lost my job. He quit his job as a dishwasher to join Occupy Little Rock. Now the supplies that most rely on only for a couple of days, he relies on for survival. But those supplies keep coming in, anonymously and from organizations. We have open communication with them, and, and we've told them, uh, let us know if you have a need. Belk's union organization has given over $1,000 in supplies. He's helping legitimize what some call the biggest movement since the Tea Party. But don't tell that to the Tea Party. With, with no real solid message from the Occupy movement, and it's just people just hanging around, camping. It's just basically, basically camping in city. So what are they all about? Well, the first thing is income inequality. And they'll point to these numbers that show that the richest 1% has grown since 1979, while the rest of them, not so much. Then there's this. Corporate greed is, uh, that's an attitude problem that needs to be addressed. But the man who addresses it every day isn't impressed with the movement so far. The people that are inclined to commit uh, a financial crime are going to commit it whether or not um, an Occupy Wall Street or an Occupy Little Rock movement is in place or not. At the camp, there are plenty signs, although the Tea Party says there's no sign of success. But their latest protest not only made noise, we are the it may change. The, the Occupy movement has really kind of brought uh, an aspect to to the uh, the movement that really brought us kind of out of uh, out of the shadows. They marched against big banks and four credit unions, and that helped the Arkansas Federal Credit Union have their biggest October ever for new accounts. Protesters in New York continue to clash with NYPD, the exact opposite of the Little Rock model. So long as uh, they maintain uh, in a structured fashion that they've demonstrated so far, I don't see any issue with them. So with police in their corner, a geodome in the works to withstand winter, they say they're here to stay with nothing to lose. Not here, then in a different state, on a different state, in a different country. I'll still be occupied. At some point, People have to have the intestinal fortitude to stand up for what they believe. So Occupy Little Rock has an open permit from the city to stay here as long as they like. That's why they're saying they're doing all they can to avoid any kind of skirmishes with police. And now we've got about 30 strong behind me. Are you guys here to stay? Yeah! You heard it right from then. They're here to stay. Scott Beth, back to you. All right, Matt, a very good inside look tonight. Thank you very much for that report.